A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 22nd Jan. On the front page you have questions on parents in NPR form may be docked. Pass one. So this is what key BJP ally and Lok Jan Shakti Party and Union Minister uh, as such, uh, Ram Vilas Paswan, he has said that government may consider the widespread demand to remove the questions on date and place of birth of respondents' parents from the NPR, National Population Register. He said, even I don't know the date of birth of my parents. Forget about producing documents providing the dates. Then this is, respondents can file census data online. So in the second phase of decennial census exercise that will be conducted in February 2021, respondents will have the option to fill in details on their own. So the population enumeration phase of the census, which is to be carried out from Feb as such, in the month of Feb, will have the facility of online self-enumeration for the public. So that will be the second phase, population enumeration phase. Self-enumeration is not available in the first phase. So here you can see it's mentioned. The second phase is called the population enumeration phase. The first phase is house listing and housing census. So that is going to be carried out in this year itself from April 1 to September 30, 2020. Second phase is in 2021. So there self-enumeration will be possible. Online you can yourself fill in the details but in, not in the first phase. On page 9 you have it is unclear how coronavirus is transmitted. So more cases are expected in China and possibly other countries too in the coming days is what World Health Organization officials says. But then it is not clearly known how coronavirus spreads, how it is transmitted. So that toll from the virus in China presently is 6. So here you can see not enough is known to draw definitive conclusions about how the virus is transmitted. Clinical features of this disease, its severity, the extent to which it has spread or its source, all is not known. This is a novel coronavirus. It's a new strain that has not been previously identified in humans. It's a possible way in which the disease is spreading could be through contact with animals, contaminated foods or person to person. And here you have, it will take decades to complete rail projects. So public-private partnership, government says, is the only way out. Otherwise, rail projects completion will take decades. So this is what the ministry has, the Ministry of Railways has told the parliamentary panel. This is pushing for public-private partnership in railways. And this is India, co-builder of Hawaii Telescope, wants it, shift, wants it shifted out of proposed site. So this is a $2 billion project that has been marred by protest for over a decade now. The proposed site is actually considered sacred by the indigenous Hawaiians. So India, which is also partnering the construction, which is one of the largest telescopes in the world, has said it wants the project to be moved out of the proposed site of Mauna Kea, which is a dormant volcano in Hawaii. It's called 30 meter telescope, TMT. And it is a joint venture. It involves five countries. On editorial page, the first editorial is Shaky Perch. So this is regarding the BJP press news, BJP's new president, J.P. Nadda. Uh, his election uh, has been done, conducted now. BJP got a new president. Earlier president was Mamit Shah. Now he's the Union Home Minister. So the editorial says that BJP's new president, J.P. Nadda, will have more of responsibility and less of power. So. <laughs> talks about uh, him and it's not important from exam perspective at all and this is return of bonds so this is about the supreme court ruling on this the supreme court heard the case uh, he is hearing the case but it refused to stay electoral bonds so now the editorial says that the supreme court must give an expeditious decision on the validity of electoral bonds so the earlier bench was also looking into the matter under former CGI and now present CGI Justice Bogde also is looking into the matter but he refused to stay saying that earlier when it was not stayed, we will not stay it now. The petitioners argue that there, are, there is fresh data and evidence available but he refused to stay. So now at least the hearing should be expedited, decision should be taken quickly on the validity of electoral bonds which have been flagged by both election commission as well as RBI. 
uh, election commission has also clearly stated it brings in secrecy uh, the details are not known details of the donors are not known the former cgi also justice anjan gogoi had asked political parties to disclose to the election commission of india in sealed covers details of the donations they had received through anonymous bonds so that also has to be expedited then the lead article is 30 years on still no spring for the pundits so this talks about the pundits minority pundits in Jam in kashmir valley so ensuring the secure presence of the pundit minority would be kashmir's most important marker of sustainable peace so kashmir kashmiri pundits return means there is peace in jammu and kashmir is what this article is trying to highlight then here you have same country different script so this article talks of how pakistan is changing in significant ways for its own good and for the good of its neighbors so it talks about how now pakistan which has also been grey listed by financial action task force has to take again action against terror financing and money laundering also china is an important factor and uh, religious radicalization Uh, actually has uh, affected its own country it's, it's, it's pakistan is also a victim of terrorism so that is also on opet page you have right to protest in a free society so it says in a democracy people participate politically not only during but between elections so this talks about how right to protest as such is a fundamental right in a free society then on page 12 you have uh, article 370 becomes otios after 1957 dissolution so this is uh, senior advocate dinesh duvedi who argued before the constitution bench of the supreme court that article 370 of the constitution became otios after jammu and kashmir constituent assembly dissolved in 1957 so the executive order of the center over the years as such including the august 5 2019 one abrogating the special status of jammu and kashmir are invalid so temporary provision of article 370 was the tunnel connecting the indian constitution with jammu and kashmir so article 370 could be revoked by only the constituent assembly of jammu and kashmir but constituent assembly was formed for a temporary period and it it dissolved so there is no constituent assembly of jammu and kashmir after 1957 when it was dissolved so this is a, This is the point we raised to argue that uh, Article 370 cannot be abrogated. Then here you have in three Bangladeshi migrants detailed detained in Bangalore. So this is continuation of the front page news actually. So we have heard of earlier such cases also when Bangladeshi migrants from Bangalore they reached West Bengal, they were to be deported, but then their identities were lost there. And even to be deported, there should be documents with them. and bangladesh should accept them you know like so accept the proof if they provide any proof that they are from bangladesh and here you have india brazil to sign strategic action plan so this is brazil president jair bolsonaro he will be the chief guest in the republic day celebrations of india and india and brazil are expected to sign the strategic partnership which is an action plan and uh, also a bilateral investment treaty will be signed strategic action plan will be signed with a strategic partnership agreement with an action plan even first bilateral investment treaty was signed between the two countries in 2000 uh, earlier uh, treaty has been signed in 2015 but it has lapsed now so now uh, this one will be signed then this is supreme court for curbs on powers of speaker so the supreme court asked parliament to amend the constitution to strip legislative assembly speakers of the ex- exclusive power to decide whether legislators should be disqualified under the nda section so it, the supreme court says an independent tri- tribunal ought to be appointed instead of instead to determine the fate of an mla or an mp who has switched sides for money and power so the court has highlighted this issue of taking away disqualification power under the 10th schedule of the constitution from the speakers disqualification in general in the constitution is in the hands of the judiciary uh, in the hands of the president but in case of defection the power is in the hand of the speaker 
and this is time to resolve pending issues with India. So this is Nepal Prime Minister K P Sharma Oli who said that bilateral disputes with India should be dealt with through dialogue by the majority governments of both countries. So he spoke of how time has come to resolve the disputes. The recent dispute was on the Kalapani issue that uh, when the new political map of India was released in November 2019 after bifurcation and declaration of Jammu and Kashmir and uh, you know, Ladakh as two separate union territories. So the Nepali side highlighted how Kalapani has been shown as part of India where Nepal claims it to be part of its own territory. It was shown as part of Uttarakhand in India. So there have been disputes between the two countries which need to be resolved. Then here you have Supreme Court to hear 144 pleas on Citizenship Amendment Act today. The petitioners say that act has an unholy nexus with NRC. Then below you have Supreme Court studying code of conduct for ministers. So five judge constitution bench of the Supreme Court said the possibility of enforceability ought to be explored if a new code of conduct is framed for ministers at the center in industries. So it's examining whether greater restrictions should be imposed on ministers right to free speech. So this came to the light when on Samajwati party and member and Uttar Pradesh minister Azam Khan made a statement and which resulted in a controversy. Then on international page of continuation of old news, this is regarding Trump impeachment trial. So this uh, trial process will take some time, so it will continue to be news. If you know everything about uh, Trump impeachment, how the lower house has uh, passed the impeachment uh, proceedings have been done by the lower house, the house of representatives, and now the senate, the upper house is going to be the investigating house in this matter. So he is, uh, this impeachment trial has now begun. Now. So that's what it says. And in the Senate upper house, Republicans, the party of Trump is in majority. So he being impeached is highly unlikely. And this is Trump calls climate activists prophets of doom at Davos. So US President Donald Trump again took a dig at uh, climate activists. He says warnings of climate crisis are foolish. And uh, these are foolish warnings. And US joined at the same time one trillion trees project. So this was the 50th World Economic Forum in Davos in Switzerland. So he touted fossil fuels, deregulation and a booming US economy as a message in stark contrast to the dire warnings delivered by Greta Thunberg and others on climate change. And this is continuation of all same old news about Iran US conflict. Now it is giving offering three million dollars to anyone who kills Trump. So then here you have regarding the coronavirus. So who World Health Organization will decide if the outbreak is an international public health emergency or not. So it's going to be again in news tomorrow and later too. So we can keep it for that time. Then on business page you have Zomato buys Uber Eats in $300 million all stock deal. So again, this is a merger in the sector. So in that sense, you should know a little about it. And below you have slowing economy to hit premium growth, Moody's. So this is Moody's Investor Services, which has said that countries slowing economies will weigh on, slowing economy will weigh on insurance premium growth over the next two, three years. So Supportive measures have been put in place by Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India. They will help to counterbalance the deteriorating economic environment to some extent. And this is FMCG growth slows to single digit in 2019. So this uh, data shows that for fast moving consumer goods like soap, toothpaste, etc. So these which you get at general stores. So these are have slowed growth now. They were growing in double digit for the last two years, but now the growth rate has slowed to single digit. And it says macroeconomic factors, consolidation among smaller players have led to slowdown. So that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website, asia.com. Thank you.